Hey YouTube, I'm Motion, and with a PS5 and PC launch of Blood Hunt just around the corner, I thought I would do a quick video covering the 5 best weapons in the game for Season 1 and give you my thoughts on them. I'll be refreshing my gun guide videos soon after launch, so make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss that one. But if you want to check out how all the weapons stack up against each other on paper, you can check out my weapon stat sheet linked in the description below. As always, if you find the video useful or just want to make me smile, please hit the like button or comment something nice below. Jumping into our first category, Best Early Game Weapon. This is the ideal weapon to find in the first few minutes of a match starting. Players have spawned all around you, and you're going to need bullets, and lots of them. People are likely to be looting the same areas as you, so you don't need to worry about distance as much, but you want a weapon with a consistent DPS output to quickly down your targets. For this category I picked the Tommy Gun. It has a naturally large ammo capacity starting at 40 bullets for the green variant, and increasing by 10 with each upgrade. The high fire rate of 900 RPM will mean it will hit consistently well even if you miss a few bullets, but its lack of accuracy means that you might want to swap this out as the match progresses and you start taking on longer range engagements. The reload speeds are fairly average, similar to its body DPS of 195, so there are definitely better options for endgame, but being able to spam the Tommy gun like a 1930s mobster to mow down your enemies is a very satisfying feeling. So you have survived the early game rush of nearby enemies with your Tommy gun, and you want to move out of your general spawn area, but you're not sure which of the many dropped weapons to take with you. You are going to want something that can keep enemies at bay and even down them from a distance, so you can remain on the rooftops and the high ground it offers. This brings us on to our next category, Best Medium to Long Range Weapon. There are many potential candidates, including the sniper rifle, but I'm a big fan of consistency and I have to give this one to the toggleable machine gun for its steady and accurate damage output of 130 DPS. This kind of precise damage is only outmatched by the brand new 9 barreled rifle, but that presumes that you can handle the burst of recoil as the gun speeds up, and at longer ranges you will more likely be tap firing it, whereas the toggler can keep the fatal lead flying towards your enemies at full speed with a respectable 300 RPM. If you are lucky enough to have found the gold variation, then you will be rewarded with a boost to its RPM, making it one of the deadliest weapons in the game. This is by far one of my favourite weapons currently in the game, and finding one will give you a plus 5 to confidence in your aim. Just watch out for the reload speed on this one, as it's on the slower side compared to other weapons. You obviously need a secondary to go with your long range weapon though, so our next category is best DPS output. You have already weakened your enemies on your way in, but now it's time to get up close and personal. Which of the 17 available weapons will have your opponent on their knees in the least amount of time? Again, we're going for consistency, so I've chosen the Silenced SMG for its amazing 275 DPS and for the fastest RPM in the game at 1500, but I'll give some honourable mentions to the double barreled shotgun, as technically it has the fastest DPS if you don't take into account the reload time, and the toggleable machine gun in its automatic mode, which has an amazing damage potential if your enemy is the size of a blimp. The Silenced SMG has one of the fastest reload speeds in the game though, so even if you end up burning through that lightweight magazine before you can down the nearest enemy, you will have another wave of damage to send them out in no time. This paired with a toggler is a go-to setup for me, and will complement most playstyles. What happens if you're out of luck though? Our next category is the best jack of all trades weapon. So you haven't found the best long range killer or DPS king, but you still need to defend yourself, and being able to do so in many different situations is key. Why complicate life with a bunch of different weapons when you only need one to point and shoot at the nearest moving object? This weapon is not the best in any situation, but it can always compete with the best in any situation, and will allow you to concentrate on the finer things in life, like movement and abilities. The assault rifle is by far the most versatile weapon in the game, and not even the toggleable selection of two modes can keep up. Green and blue variants are very easy to find, and with a reasonable 650 RPM and 160 pre DPS, you will easily be able to compete with any other weapon in Prague. Finding a purple variant will increase your ammo count to 40 of the finest bullets in Prague, but beware that in niche situations, the assault rifle may be holding you back. SMGs and shotguns will kick out way more damage up close, and the lack in precision means you should probably avoid engaging that hidden sniper on the tower. But if you just want to have fun with some parkour and leave the technical side alone, this is the way to go. Ok, so now you have a good idea on which weapons to pick up for the best chance of downing your enemy from a distance, but what if you're old school? What if you're the kind of person who likes to deal with your targets in a more manual way? You like to get the job done cleanly without all the noise that some of the previous weapons make. 
and you think that having a red dot sight is just another silly gadget that could go wrong. What you need is our next category, best melee weapon. What better way to play Fruit Ninja than to replace the fruit with the limbs of your nearby foes? The best melee weapon needs to not only be deadly, but also consistently so. You won't be getting any high scores if you miss the ball-shaped head with your spiked bat and take a bullet to the face. All of the melee weapons you can pick up are viable, but we can easily narrow it down to the purple variants, as they also have an ability tied to them. The winner has to be the katana bow, and not just for its two hit down potential if you're running triple choleric buffs. The reflect ability will allow you to not only protect yourself while returning damage to the sender, but also close the distance to your prey while they try to slowly back up. The katana's large attack swipes will have you dealing lethal damage in a large radius, making it very consistent to hit your targets. Backed with the lifesteal that all melee damage gives you, you will be ready to take on your next target before the first one has had time to hit the floor. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, or are someone who couldn't care less about the statistics and which weapon can technically beat another, then this next one is for you. Forget precision or damage. How does the weapon feel when you are using it? If it wasn't shipped with a heavy price tag and a complimentary smile as you are firing it, then it wasn't considered for this award. The final category is the most fun weapon. This is honestly personal opinion more than statistics, as there are a few fun weapons. But don't sleep on the minigun. It's a rare weapon to find as you can only obtain it in the entity caches, but it's well worth a good spam in the enemy's direction to watch them panic, and bonus points are awarded for taking down an entire trio without releasing the trigger. The one tip I would give, however, is to make sure you have a backup weapon nearby, as even though the minigun contains pre-100 bullets, you cannot refill them, and they get used very quickly when in full spin at 1200 RPM. This can quickly catch you off guard mid-fight if you run out. The minigun has the fastest DPS when fully spun up at pre-100, but with a lack of accuracy and with the spin-up time, it didn't make it to other categories where I wanted a more consistent result. Runners-up for this award are the Pump Action Shotgun and the Revolver, which are both very satisfying to hit those big numbers and give you a very fast down potential. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. Check out some of my other Blood Hunt Breakdown videos, and make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can find your way back and be the first one to know about new gameplay changes and updates.